Etymologists like the entire Ukrainian film industry are calling for the complete boycott of Russian cinema internationally. What the global community needs to understand is that Russia has been using its culture and its large film industry in particular to distract everyone from its wars, its human rights violations, censorship and all its crimes and atrocities and to basically normalize the violence it inflicts on so many people. An intricate system of smoke and mirrors, so to say to make you believe in their liberty. While people abroad have been blind to what we in Ukraine have known for a long time, a dictatorship was established in Russia long ago. Only it was covered up by this culture, showing an apparent freedom of expression and liberalism to hide the true nature and subservient mentality of Russians. Who need their Tsar? And who have found him this time in Putin? They are mostly united behind him, as we see different polls showing up to 71% of Russians. 71% of Russians supporting this war and being proud of their dictator. And this mostly concerns cultural workers as well. We have seen lots of support for Ukrainians and the growing isolation of Russia. And big film companies like Netflix and uh, Warner and others have suspended their operations, any operations and services in that country. At the same time, to quote our statement, we see disappointingly modest, not to say toothless, statements of film festivals such as Cannes, Berlin, Ali, San Sebastian, Venice and others about this atrocious war, standing with Ukraine, but giving so much attention to the dissenting Russians, admiring their bravery for speaking out when what they should be admiring is Ukrainians giving their lives for the freedom of our entire European continent. You passionately stand for the aggressor's representative's right to be visible internationally when they should be acting to change things at home. Committed to freedom of expression, you fail to understand the simple fact of giving voice to a seemingly liberal extension of the shamelessly colonial policies toward Ukraine, when all over the world many businesses and film industries, I mean, and industries including cultural ones, cut off Russia for the horror it inflicts on Ukraine once again, you choose to separate culture from politics, as if that has ever been true. We believe there should be a complete boycott of Russian films until the Russian army has left our country and the damage to Ukraine has been compensated. This is the least of it. While what actually needs to happen, in our view, in the longer run, is the complete revision by Russians of their imperialist attitude toward their former colonies and most of all Ukraine. Another revision that has to take place is by the international community and culture and arts community in particular of the colonial past of Ukraine. We need to reappropriate what has been taken from us by Russia when it automatically inherited all the Soviet cultural legacy. And we still see that some filmmakers like Oleksandr Dovzhenko or Kira Muratova, Ukrainians who worked here and whose films belong to this nation's heritage, are seen by many cultural actors internationally as Russian. And these are but a couple of the extremely numerous examples of such legacy appropriated by Russia, starting from the Ukrainian history since the 9th century, which Russia conveniently hijacked. I know that many film festivals and institutions were urging for this boycott are dedicated to freedom of expression. But what they need to understand is that our freedom of expression could be taken away with our lives. There is a great risk of that, and no one who stayed in Ukraine is completely safe. And our lives are not comparable to what the Russian descending film industry people are risking, which is maybe a small fine and uh, perhaps a few days in prison. And it's unacceptable for these Western institutions to put these on the same level. Many Russians are now saving face by voicing their disapproval. But where have they been in the past? eight years, in the eight previous years of this war, I can tell you, staying silent and accepting this, like the rest of the world. And those few Russians who have indeed been strongly critical of their government and society for years, did their criticism, criticism help save thousands of Ukrainian lives, lost in the past three weeks alone? You know the answer is no. And I am sure those few filmmakers and intellectuals in general now understand this call for boycott of Russian cinema. Because they know that they have failed in their fight to change their country. They are the very few who have actually apologized publicly, publicly now. 
and who have assumed collective responsibility for this. And this is what needs to happen to the entire Russia and the international community as well. They need to assume responsibility, collective responsibility for this war and not stay in denial.